So this quick mobility video is going to focus on hips. This is great if you just need a little movement break throughout your day. Maybe you've been sitting at your desk for long periods of time and you want to break it up. Maybe your hips are feeling a little cranky. Or you could even incorporate this into your warm-up before a lower body workout, a run, etc. So coming down onto a mat, we're not going to need any equipment except you will want a couch, a chair, a stool, something nearby to put your hands on for balance. So I'm just going to use the end of my couch here and then when I'm facing this direction, I'll just bring my hands to the chair. To start, we're going to do a windshield wiper. So sitting down, you can bring your hands behind your back and I want you to lean back and you're going to plant your feet in front of you and you can have them pretty wide. So we're going to drop both knees over to the right. And we're going to swish them to the other side, but we're going to do it very controlled. I want you to start with the left knee lifting up. And then when it can go no farther, then let the right knee come off of the floor and switch over to the other side. Same thing. So now we start with the right knee when it can't open any longer, then you let the other knee come off the floor. And you can let the opposite hip lift up. I want both knees to touch the ground. We're going to do just one more to each side. And then let's hold them over to the right and we're going to come upright with the torso and we're going to reach our arms forward. I'm just going to scoot back. Now from this position, we're going to take this back left leg. We're going to lift it up. We're going to swing it around in front of us straight. Okay. So start by lifting that back leg to a hover and then you're going to straighten it as you swing it around, plant it on the ground in front of you, crossing over your right. Lift it up to a hover. Straight leg starts to sweep out to the side. Bend the knee, kick it back, plant it on the ground. Now we're doing this with as little leaning side to side of the torso as possible. But if there's a little leaning, that is fine. I know I certainly am a little bit. Really make it controlled. So lift to a hover, then kick it straight and sweep. Lower it down. Lift, swing out to the side. Bend, kick it around. So last time here, and when your leg is straight in front of you, you're gonna pause for me. So lift it up, swing it around and pause. Now, instead of having it crossed over your bottom ankle, I want you to just move that ankle out of the way so your legs make the number four. Now, continuing with this straight leg, we're gonna pretend we're lifting it up and over something and we're gonna stay as upright through the spine as possible. Try not to round for, uh, round back, okay? So chest is broad. I want you to reach long through that left leg, lift it up, and then place it down out to the side to the left. Up and over, plant it down. So don't worry about how high up it goes. It's only going as high as you can without rounding back, okay? Woo, so big challenge for the hip flexors here. Picture there's like a yoga block right there. You lift it up to the other side, lift and lower. Now coming up, we're gonna go back to that original sweep combo we did, but we're gonna add on to it coming into sort of an open lunge. So we're gonna lift it up, shift it out to the left. This time when you lift it up and bring it to center, I want you to cross over the ankle like we originally started, okay? Now lift that leg up and we're going to swing it back around so we're in our starting position. All right, so just like we've been doing, but we'll lift up onto our knees. So you're going to bring that leg to a hover, straighten it as you kick it around, straight leg in front of you. Now you're gonna to start to lean forward, bend into this front left knee, and we're coming up into this kind of open hip lunge position. Now I want you to shift the hips back, sitting down, lift your left leg up, and bend the knee, kicking it back and around. So keep going like that. I'm just gonna scoot over so my knee is on the mat. Lunge it forward, lifting up. Everything is slow and controlled. Now we have one more piece of this and then we'll do the whole sequence on the other side. Last time here. 
I want you to lift up into your lunge and then I want you to pause. Now, right now we're in an open lunge position. We're gonna square it off. So I'm gonna take that back right shin bone and kick it parallel. So now we're in a split lunge position. You're gonna tuck your back right toes under. From this split lunge, we're gonna come forward into a hinged position, kick that back right leg off of the floor. You can bring your hands to your chair, your stool, your couch. Now we're gonna roll open through the pelvis. So I want you to take your right hip and you're gonna peel it open on top of the left. Square your hips back off to the floor. And then we're going to land back in that split lunge position, knee taps the mat. We kick off into sort of a single leg deadlift position. You have that chair there for support. Peel the pelvis open. If you're familiar with yoga, it's kind of like you're bringing your pelvis into a half moon position. Back with control, knee taps down. We lift. Peel it open. Square the hips off. Take it back down twice more. Final time. And then let's take it all the way back to our starting position so the knee comes down. Kick your shin across, shift the hips back, and then we lift up this left leg and we swing it around to our starting position. Now we're just gonna take that windshield wiper over to the other side. So from here, you're just going to drop your knees so we will start with just that swing. We will lift up this back right leg. We'll kick it forward and back. Your legs are in kind of opposing 90 degree angles. If going 90, 90 is too much for the hips though, bring the heels in a little bit so it's kind of like opposing triangles. I'm kind of tight through the hips so that usually works better for me. All right, arms reach forward. Let's go focusing on this back right leg. You're gonna lift it to a hover. You're going to swing it around. Plant that right leg down. Lift it up. Sweep it out to the sides, bend the knee, plant it down. So minimize the rocking of the torso. So your leg isn't gonna be super high. It's gonna probably be at a very low hover. Controlled movement within that hip joint. Now next time that leg is in front of you, we'll do the straight leg lifts and lowers. So I want you to pause with your leg in front of you and then just make sure it's uncrossed. So you're gonna pull that bottom foot out from under it so your legs are now in a four. Staying upright, so we're trying not to round the spine. We're gonna really challenge those hip flexors. This right leg is going to lift up, out to the side, lower it down. We lift it up, bring it through center, and lower it. Picture your back is against a wall. And on this one, you might have to a little bit do as I say, not as I do, because I can feel myself wanting to roll back. Don't worry how high up the leg is getting. Stay open through the chest. Up, out to the right, lower. Up, into center, lower, twice more. Last time, and then we go back to our original combo, adding in that lunge. All right, pause. Now I want the ankle to cross, so bring the right over your left ankle, and we'll start with that leg sweep. So lift it up, swing it around, bend the knee. So same combo, but we're gonna lift up into that kneeling open lunge, okay? Lift to a hover. Sweep that straight leg around. Now we're going to lean forward, bending into our right knee. We come up into this open hip lunge. So my back shin is across the mat, okay? It's not parallel. Shift the hips back, hinging forward with your torso, come back down to the mat. Right leg to a hover, bend the knee, sewing it around.
just twice more. Final time, we'll hold that lunge and we'll square it off. So when you're in your lunge, pause. I want you to take that back shin and kick it parallel, squaring off through the hips. So now we're in a split lunge position. Tuck your back left toes under. We're gonna move from the split position into our hinge. So you're gonna lean forward. Don't lock out through this front right knee though. Left leg lifts up. So you're in a single leg deadlift position. Hands can come to a chair, couch, stool, whatever. Now let's peel open through that pelvis. So you're going to take your left hip, peel it on top of the right. Square the hips back off and then gently return to that split lunge position. Tap the knee to the mat, hinge it forward, peel the pelvis open, square it off, land back in that split lunge, knee taps down. Almost done with this quick mobility flow. You have two more. Last time, square off through the hips, land in your lunge, but don't tap the knee down. And then I just want you to pivot open into a sumo squat. I'll just turn so that I'm facing you. This is where we finish. From our sumo squat position, you're gonna pivot on the heels and we're going to lift the toes up coming into internal rotation. So knees and toes point in and then pivot back out, external rotation, internal, external. So I'm cueing the knees and toes pointing in and out, but really think about where the rotation is coming from. It's coming from that hip joint, which hopefully feels a little more lubricated now that we just did that quick flow, a little less sticky. Final two, take it out. Last time, take it wide and stand, but I'll kneel so you can see me. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. That is your quick mobility flow. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.